Hey everyone, my name is Rui and we are here. This is going to be week number four, I believe, of the MPL. And we are here up against Choi CJ and his uh, Baltimore Oriolus. Now, this is going to be a pretty difficult matchup. Uh, this is one of the teams that I struggle with building the most. He does have a uh, Coco Core with Alolan Raichu and um, Sceptile, so it is going to be super duper scary. But uh, we see Coco and none of his uh, terrain abusers. That is pretty wild to see, but we do see Coco... Cresselia, Infernape, um, Pile of Swine, Mega Blastoise, and the Empoleon. Alright, so. Right off the bat, I'm gonna take screenshot of the team. Okay. Uh, so let me think here. So. Does not bring the Alolan Muck. That is actually pretty huge. No Excel Gore, no Sceptile, like I said, and no Alolan Raichu. Um. Yeah, that's overall pretty wild. Does he even have removal? Uh, Coco's is removal. Coco's is. And Empoleon, I guess. And Blastoise. Blastoise can spin. Alright, so he has plenty of removal. Um, that is pretty wild. Okay. No Gly score. Oh, man. No Gly score. That's actually wild. Okay. My instinct is to say that I should lead off with my Scarfed Tauros. I double Scarfed. Scarfed Tauros and Scarfed um, Galvantula. So, actually... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna lead off with the Scarf Tauros, I think. Yeah. I think overall Tauros has the best uh, matchup to lead with. Um, Tauros is gonna be pretty important to break down that Pile Swine, but after that's gone, Galvantula does have free Volt switches, so I'm pretty sure he's gonna want to preserve that Pile Swine. Um, Stick Webs is not gonna be the biggest deal in the world, I guess, but. Um, I want to say the door is reasonably open for my Latios to Dragon Dance up and try to do some interesting things. But right off the bat, we do see an Infernape. We are very possibly both Scarfed. I'm going to just see... Uh... Sheer Force Body Slam does not KO in any sense. Um, Earthquake doesn't either. So that's unfortunate. He potentially has a free... He potentially has a free... Uh, Rocks Play. I would be surprised if he didn't take the free Rocks Play. Which does make me want to go into the Latios. Latios is honestly meant to primarily be a check to this uh, Inferno because it is really my best option against it. I assume this is going to be Cresselia. Yeah, it is Cresselia. So this is not great for me. Cresselia can try to Calm Mind up now. I can attempt to go into the Decidueye. Decidueye had this, my Decidueye is meant to kind of take on his um, more aggressive, uh, his more aggressive set, setup threats. I could also go into Donphan. This thing probably has Ice Beam, though. It almost definitely has Ice Beam. I'm thinking... Miltank could be a play here. Miltank is a possibility. I would ideally like Miltank to be able to take on the Tapu Koko, um, but it's not the worst thing in the world uh, to kind of make a play with it early on. It's really, in my mind, between the Decidueye and the Miltank, but I think it's probably too early for Decidueye, even though Decidueye does have a, fanta a pretty fantastic matchup. Not gonna lie on that one. Okay. I think Decidueye is a pretty fantastic matchup. Uh, this is a pretty aggressive Swords Dancing um, Decidueye. And just just go for, straight up for a Moon Blast. That's totally fair. That's totally fair. He does see, he does see how specially defensive I am. does get a special attack drop, which is hilarious because um, I misgen. And I really wanted to try to fix it in-game, but uh, I couldn't and I already delayed this match. I'm super duper sorry, CJ, but, um, 
Uh, this is meant to have Ice Punch for his Glide score, but uh, I put Ice Beam on it by accident, and uh, I don't know, man. I feel like I can only click Toxic. I don't know how fast of Corselli this is, but I should outspeed it naturally. Um, if it if it's speedy sub, then that would be super unfortunate. He could go into the Empoleon straight away, which I guess would be relatively fine. I'm yeah, I'm gonna assume this is the, no. This is good. He he probably assumed that I had the Rocks play going. But I'm a very specially defensive mill tank. Again, this is designed to kind of take on um Yolo and Raichu. It's also Sap Sipper for the Sceptile. Um I guess the fact didn't didn't even like factor in too too much into this matchup, but um this is a Mega Blastoise, so whatever damage I get onto this thing is going to be on um to stay here. This thing could try to uh set up a counter. A counter toxic I guess this is the thing most that I would most want to get toxic I could probably just click EQ for some chip damage here and there I don't see any real reason to aggressively want to go into the Gavantula right now let me see especially especially given the fact that um Especially given the fact that this thing's going to get worn down over time, Miltank doesn't have a really defined role, and my Gavantula does have a really free time once this uh, Pilot Swine goes down. Uh, Earthquake isn't going to do a whole of a lot, but I don't really need it to. I'm just going to click Earthquake, I guess. Earthquake is my only... Uh, my only offensive moves are Earthquake and Ice Beam. Should have been Ice Punch, but um, otherwise it's just Toxic and Milk Drink. I am going to struggle with that Cresselia, for sure, for sure. But I don't mind just getting some damage off on this thing, especially when I can just milk drink the damage away, unless he wants a Toxic right now. Um, and this is going to be a Mega Launcher boosted Aura Sphere, but oof. Alright, yeah, I am max special defensive, so maybe I should have made that aggressive, um, that aggressive play into the Galvantula. I don't know, I don't even know if it's worth it to do that right now. Um, he brought me down to 84 after leftover, so that's a whole butt ton of damage. I, actually, I'm pretty sure that means... Huh. What is wrong with the, dis with the damage calculator? The damage calculator, uh, doesn't doesn't put in the Mega's abilities correctly. I put a Mega Blastoise and it puts and it didn't give it Mega Launcher. But yeah, no, that's about right for a max special attack Mega Launcher. Which is interesting to me. That's so interesting. I could potentially... Go, see, I have the Decidueye play. I have the Latios play. I mean, I even have the Galvantula play. So I don't know if he does that a second time. This, I'm going to Milk Drink. I'm going to have to play this as though he's going to click Ice Beam right now. Does withdraw... Let's me get off an ice. Uh, an, let's me get off a milk drink. It does go into this thing. I don't think I really mind. I feel like he has to click close combat right now. Um. Does he even know that I'm Sap Sipper right now? He, he has to. I think he has to play this assuming that. I, yeah, because I don't think I'm ever in a position where I have to reveal Sap Sipper. Right? I don't think I. Unless. Unless. Uh, Grass Knot. That would be a super interesting play if. Um, my mill tank is a switch into a to a Dawn fan grass knot. But other than that, I don't think I ever have to reveal Sap Zipper, so he has to play this, assuming that I'm um Thick Fat this entire match, I'm pretty positive. I don't think he would want to stay in and Well no, he knows I'm not Chopple, so he can do that, but I don't think he would want to stay in and click Flare Blitz as what I was trying to say, um, that could potentially open the door for for an aggressive Decidueye play, even that's pretty aggressive for me, but, um, I do have an aggressive Latios play available to me, I, I think, the only, re the only way he could really punish me on this plays would be to click U-turn, but, that's, well, alright, he clicked U-turn, <laughs> I don't know what to say, he did the thing that, uh, that would punish my play, so, 100% fine, but whatever he switches into, I can pretty, I, I think I can pretty freely switch back in the mill tank, unless he goes into Cresselia to, to try to set up a, a 
substitute that would be the worst case scenario but anything else really I don't mind going into mill tank here I don't mind going into mill tank here and really oh actually can I tell anything about that infernape damage so, Infernape U-Turn into a Latios, but I have to remember to change its form to regular Latios. Um. Oh, I don't think it's Max Attack. That's interesting. I think it hard switched out earlier. I think it hard switched out earlier. So, that might have just been protecting against a potential Scarf Tauros. So, he could be Scarfed himself. He might be Scarfed himself. But, um, max attack U-turn should do 52 to 68% to a Latios before I Mega Evolve. Uh, this is a very, very easy mill tank switch for me, I think. But, uh, let's look. Uh, it brought me down from 156 to 70. That's what, 86? Is that right? Is my math right on that? 156 minus 70. Yeah, 86. Hey, look at me. Look at me doing stuff. Um, uh, 86. 86 is possibly a, 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 a lower end roll for max attack Jolly. So, I think I have to assume that for now. But regardless. So, yeah, for right now, I think I still have to operate under the assumption that it's scarfed. And, regardless... I think I have to go into my mill tank. I think I have to go into my mill tank here. If it is scarfed and I do get webs up, that would be pretty great. Uh, he's gonna go into he's gonna go into Infernape right now. I think Infernape is his only real play right now. I'm pretty positive. And if he does that, then. If he does that, then he has to U-turn, right? See, I'm only max HP. And max special defense, obviously, but like, no no real physical defense. Um, would he click close combat here? Would he click close combat here? He might. He might just do that. Would it be worth going into Decidueye here? Do I have any better options? I can also go into Dawn Fan. I could also go into Dawn Fan. I really want to make that Decidueye de play. Decidueye would give me a Swords Dance, actually. But I don't know where that puts me. Um, because I don't think Decidueye... Yeah, Decidueye even at plus two does not take out an Infernape. I have to get a decent amount of prior damage onto this Infernape in order for that to make any sense. I could stay and in, in click Earthquake? No. I think he's going to click U-turn. I'm going to click Toxic. Does click Close Combat. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, the Miltank goes down, which is super unfortunate. But uh, then again, I did always mention that I was um, very potentially sagging this thing off. I can potentially go into... I can potentially go into... Huh. I have so many options here. I can go into Latios and start to threaten things out, potentially get up a Dragon Dance, but then the Piloswine plays available to him. I can go into Galvantula, try to set up webs, or set up a Volt Switch, but then Piloswine can come back in, like I mentioned before. Uh, Taurus is a potential play, especially now that he is uh, at minus one defense. I can Body Slam. Uh, I mean, hell, I can try to get up Rocks with Donphan for... 
Uh, yeah, the only play that truly wouldn't make sense, I guess, would be to go into Decidueye right now and set up a Sword Dance because I still think it's too early for that, despite it having a really good matchup here. I mean, if I could somehow get to plus four, then that would be truly interesting. But I don't know if I ever get that opportunity. Actually, what stops me? Pilot Swine, potentially. I think I go into Galvantula. No, I think I go into Tauros. I think I go into Tauros. I have to just click Body Slam here. I don't know how willing he would be to risk... How willing he would be to risk the Empoleon play, in case I'm not Scarfed. But let me see here. Tauros against an Infernave. At minus one defense should do it, but that's assuming, you know... That's, just, that's probably assuming a lot. That's assuming no bulk at all, but, um... I don't know. I could probably withstand a little bit of bulk, but regardless... I've already clicked my move. I'm locked in a Body Slam. Um, if he was real real, he would have, he might have seen from prior damage that I was, I don't know, did I not attack? I don't think, I think I might have not attacked yet, but he might have seen that I'm, that I'm sheer force by not life forge, which would, uh, very potentially put me in scarf range. Um, he, wow, he really super calls my scarf. He super calls my scarf here. So... He is potentially, he potentially has completely read me by this point. And, um, at this point, I go into, I go into Galvantula here. I think even though... Pilot Swine potentially shuts down my Galvantula a, a little bit. I think regardless of that, um, getting in here and clicking Sticky Webs might be the play. Uh, my Galvantula is also Scarfed. But regardless, I think setting up webs here would open up a decent amount for me later on. I don't know. I don't know. I'd also be really curious to see how willing he would be to stay in. I mean, he, he does have a potentially very free Scald, but if I go into Decidueye, it could be an issue for him. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to make of this uh, sequence here. Goes for an Avalanche. That's super interesting. I am very... It, this, this, uh, I don't think I signed, I signed an item, so also potentially with Conberry. Maybe Shaka. I think Shaka's more uh, likely. Shaka seems more likely. Oh no, I didn't put Sticky Webs on this. I think I'm. Mm, that might have been a, a last second decision. That might have been a last second decision. I'm going to double. I'm going to double, probably... I'm going to double into Decidueye here. And... Goes for Liquidation. That's interesting. So, are you super physical? Well, I'm pretty physically defensive, as he's probably seeing now. The Inferni super potentially comes in here. And I don't have enough damage onto the Inferni to make this exchange worth it. So I think I have to triple switch back into my my Tauros. No, that's way too passive. 
I think if anything, I would switch back into my Dawn fan, right? I think I do that. I think I do that. And need some damage onto this Inferno. I think all he really has to do is keep the, the Inferno healthy and he can beat me. He can beat me pretty comfortably, I think. I don't really see a way out of that particular scenario. I have to click Stealth Rock here. I don't think there's any way to that either. I feel like I have to click Stealth Rocks here. This Inferno just puts me in such a bad situation. That was a crit. Um, best play, probably the Blastoise. Um... Empoleon is somewhat dubious. But if he goes into the Blastoise, I guess he might... If he goes into Blastoise, he might be forced to play Ice Beam. Because of my Decidueye. That might give me an opening to go into Galvantula. And if I do that... If I do that, then maybe I Bug Buzz? I give up my Galvantula on a Bug Buzz? No, because I need my Galvantula too much to deal with the Cresselia. How do I deal with the Cresselia otherwise? How do I deal with the Cresselia otherwise? I'd have to get pretty high up in terms of Sword Dances with Decidueye. You yeah, know, for sure if TJ wins this, it's going to be on those mind games between my, um, between the Infernape and the, and the, uh, Mill Tank. I think this thing wants to set up on me right now. I think he, I think he's trying, I think he's trying to use my Don Fan as setup fodder. If that's true, I have to use this Cresselia setup fodder. I have no idea how this is going to play out. It looks for a Moonblast. Okay. Okay. My special attack falls. Um. Hmm. I'm going to click Swords Dance. So, let's see. If I'm at plus two. Man, if I'm at plus two, Shadow Sneak almost does it. After rocks. It almost does it after rocks. But if he makes any other... If he makes any safer play than that... And... For example, goes into Pylos Wine here. Then that puts me in a very above average position. Goes for Psychic. What is this mom that I. Oh, Cresselia. I think I'm free to just roost here. I didn't pay enough attention to how much damage that was outputting, but, um... Let's see, so far... Have we only seen two moves? This thing could still be trying to set up on me, for all I know. I need another Swords Dance to feel truly comfortable in this situation. And... I don't know if I ever get there, but it looks it looks like that's how I have to play this. If I get to another sword stance, then 
things start to happen. Goes for another Psychic. Okay, we take that okay. Um, down to 29 HP. I don't think I was paying attention to where I was before that, but, uh, it's pretty safe to say that I'm above wherever I was before. And now I for sure get up another Swords Dance. And... With another Swords Dance up... With another Swords Dance up... The only thing I'm, that I would think doesn't Oko me is the Coco. I think he's playing for a crit here. Oh, he's playing for a special defense drop. That's it. He's playing for a special defense drop. That's exactly it. And another note, if he can keep me below 50%, then Piloswine um, Ice Shard has a chance to KO me. But I have enough physical defense investment where... I, he doesn't know this, obviously, but I do have enough physical defense investment where Ice Shard... Um, I, should keep, I should keep Ice Shard under 50% most of the time. You know, I'm at plus four. I have to click Roost. He does switch out. Goes into the Infernape. Uh, at plus four. At plus four. Shadow Sneak. I don't think Shadow Sneak does enough at plus four. I don't think... I thought it was going to be enough, but that's not enough. Can a physical Infernape KO me with Flare Blitz? Flare Blitz. Oh my god, yeah. That's not even a question. However, if I let this thing click Flare Blitz on me, not on my decision why, but if I let my, if I let this thing click Flare Blitz on a Mon of mine, then if I get to plus four again later on in the match, then Shadow Sneak is a guaranteed, but okay. You know what? I think that'd be playing too scared. I don't think he's going to give me another opportunity to get up to plus four, even if he does, even if I am matched up the Cresselli again. According to this, a... A, um, Shadow Sneak should be about a 50-50. I'm going to click Shadow Sneak. We're just going to have to see. Oh my god, we get it. That's wild. I don't know if that's a roll. I don't know. But if it is a roll... Then, I don't know what to say. It's also incredibly important, it's incredibly important that we left this exchange at full HP. Because that means Piloswine Ice Shard can't, can't do enough to me. Um, I believe I put enough speed into this thing to outspeed a no speed invested um, Blastoise. And I should also out outspeed an out a no speed invested um, uh, Empoleon. But I also should take... But I also should... Um, be defensively invested enough to take a, to take an avalanche, and I can always roost up on a second avalanche. Um, I should be at a point where I take any hit from a special Coco and hit it back with Leaf Blade, and Cresselia, I think I've already seen that Cresselia, um, can't really do, can't really do prolonged damage to my Decidueye. So, I think he has to give me multiple mods in this situation. Goes into this thing. Okay. Here's the thing. I th I'm pretty positive the only set that truly, like, destroys me, that truly blows me back, is fully, fully physically offensive Brave Bird. But, I'm going to pull up uh, some calcs just so I can 
be sure about what I'm talking about. If we give this thing a 252, 252 attack Jolly, and give this thing Brave Bird, Brave Bird should theoretically max out at um 96% damage. I mean, obviously, this thing could also be adamant, and a lot of other things can happen, but max physical attack, um, max physical attack, Jolly Brave Bird should max out at 96% at damage. And Leaf Blade, of course, KOs in return. Does go for the Brave Bird. Are we going to see an adamant, uh, Coco? Are we going to see... Okay, okay. These are the rolls that I was pre preparing for. Now, the thing is, the pilot's haunt a problem, right? Um, however, I should note, I've got a little bit back for the leftovers. I should note that those pilot's wine calcs that I was looking at, they assume max attack adamant, um, a uh, pilot's wine. And I, I, I understand that that's a worst case scenario, but that's kind of what I was uh, looking at in order to try to build this decidueye. And, um, he might be more likely to bring in the Cresselia just to, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. This is a wild match. This is a wild position for us both to be in. If this is a goes down, I'm not really sure how I take down the Cresselia other than just bug trying to bug buzz into the Cresselia. But that's a dubious position to be in, I think. Okay. Let's run some pilots on Calx. Pilot Swine. Um, assuming max attack adamant ice shard, it always KOs, 100% of the time. If it is a completely uninvested, a completely uninvested ice shard, um, never takes me out. A completely uninvested ice shard does, um, 62 points max of HP. If you put in like four into attack, then it still never KOs me. It still never KOs me. This is such a position to be in. This is such a weird position to be in. I'm trying to think. Galvantula might win this match. I have to click Leaf Blade. Again, again, if this is a, like a max defensive um, Pilot Swine, if this has no attack investment, then I always take this Ice Shard. I'm going to click Leaf Blade. Does it go for the Ice Shard. How invested are you? Yes, this is no investment. That's guaranteed no investment. All right. The Sidewise is three KOs deep. <sighs> um, whatever he brings in here. Oh no, Cresselia comes in here and KOs me. Yeah, okay. Cresselia comes in here and KOs me from this range. Although I do get a Shadow Sneak off if he brings in Cresselia. If he brings in anything else, then I. Um. Interesting. Okay, we've already seen that this thing is max special attack. A Mega Blastoise with Ice Beam that is max special attack. Oh my god, that destroys me. Yeah, so I can't roost on this, but, but, he doesn't know that I'm speed creeping this, um, I'm out of focus. There we go. He doesn't know that I'm max, that I'm, that I'm speed creeping a no speed blastoise 
So we'll see. Oh, maybe I should have. I probably should have clicked Shadow. Oh, he has the Aqua Jet too. We Whoa! Oh my God, dude, Decidueye wants this match. Decidueye wants this match. His only play is Cresselia. If he goes into, if he goes into Empoleon, then he's giving me a roost. He's giving me a roost. All right, I guess we have to calc out Empoleon. I should have clicked um, Shadow Sneak every time. He would have burned himself out eventually to, um, to. Oh, this thing could also have Aqua Jet. This thing could also have Aqua Jet. Empoleon. Um. With Avalanche. Um, hmm. See, th this is Avalanche does over half, but I wonder if that takes into account, like, trying being hit first. I'm so curious about that. I don't know. I'm going to click Leaf Blade. If this thing has Aqua Jet, then it's moot anyway, so... Let's try to click Leaf Blade here. It does have Aqua Jet. Alright, we go into Galvantula. We click... We, we click Thunder. Actually, no. We click Volt Switch. Uh, Galvantula. Yeah. Oh, but, but I'm in electric terrain. That actually, that genuinely makes a difference. I have to click thunder only because I'm in the electric terrain. Yeah, it does give me the Empoleon. Um, if this thing doesn't go down, then this thing is super, um, is super, especially defensive. Might have focused on, I think I'm fine, okay. Um, now the Corsali comes in. I probably... Uh, this thing could definitely beat me. I think I might have to go into... I might have to go into my Tauros here. Also, my Tauros is Scar... My Tauros is also Scar. Um, it does have Endeavor, so if I can kind of make it so that um the Cresselia does enough damage to me then I can switch I can switch out and switch back and switch the horse back in and uh click Endeavor and then that should open up the door for um my Galvantula to win it in the end I think but uh does go for the psychic okay let's see how much damage this does Oof. Yikes. Yikes. I really want to get this Endeavor off. Endeavor's going to do a whole bunch more damage than... Than any, um... Than any Body Slam would. Although, actually, we haven't seen an item on this thing yet. I'm going to click Body Slam. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. That does a very decent amount of damage. Psychic is going to take me out. It's not going to take me out. Ooh. That might... Uh, yeah, no. Now I have to switch out. Now I have to switch out here. Goes for the moonlight. Yeah. Yeah, that's totally to be expected. And I genuinely can't touch this thing, but um, I just want to get taken out. He he, he moon blasts me, probably takes me out. I feel like Dragon Dance. It doesn't even matter at this point. It doesn't even matter at this point.
Oh, he says he misclicked. I don't know what that means, but I guess we're gonna see Click Psychic. It doesn't matter. It truly doesn't matter. I do get a Dragon Dance off. I'm gonna potentially get a Crit Flinch. We're gonna go back into Gen 4, get a Times 2 Crit. And uh, that's how we win. No, it's not. Okay, fair enough. That's gonna not be how we win. That's fine. That's totally fine. Uh, this is not how I expected to win, regardless. What this allows me to do is go into my Tauros, let him take me out. As I click um, Endeavor, and from there, he takes me out and goes for the Moonlight. I can spam Endeavor. Um, that's not a problem. He has to take me out eventually. Uh, I don't even truly mind struggling, I don't think. I only have eight Endeavors, but again, I don't think... I think if I end up struggling, uh, I don't think that matters too, too much. Yeah, he just he just said GG in, in the chat. Um, it's going to come a lot closer than I would have hoped, but... Um, it's going to come a lot closer than I would have hoped it would have come down to, but... Uh... I think, yeah, I, I had no real good answers to this Cresselia, so I had to give up what I had to give up just to deal with this Cresselia. He's going he's gonna to click in power, and I'm going to be able to bring in my Galvantula now, and and uh, go for the final Bug Buzz, and uh, I think that's going to be the match. That was one of the more stressful matches I've ever played. I don't even know. What to say? That was super stressful. I had to play it how I had to play it. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. But regardless, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back again really, really soon with more weeks of the MPL. We'll be back with um, the last few weeks of the APA. Uh, we are in the middle of our final draft, so we will come out with a brand new team soon. But at the same time, uh, we're going to finish out our series with the team that we have. Uh, but yeah, with that, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be once again out.